so nice, I had to do it twice. I've already talked about this on my channel, but it's here to talk about it on Fog Football. And you know what? Let's keep on the subject of twice, because that's twice in my lifetime that Scotland have qualified for a major tournament. But this time was much more relaxed, much more, you know, easy -er than the previous one. Of course, the penalties against Serbia. I mean, as much as a great moment that was, you don't want to be going through that every time you want to qualify for a tournament. You want it nice and easy. And I say easy, you know, we've stepped up. We haven't been gifted this on a silver platter by any means. I mean, we've played six games, won five, lost one, a controversial one, to say, in the, in, in the, at the least. Um, and here, obviously, tonight with the result over in Oslo, Norway nil, Spain won. Despite the best efforts of Marata to try and shaft Spain out of victory tonight, um, a few VAR checks, one disallowed the first goal, uh, and then the second one was given after a lengthy VAR check. But the thing is, a draw would have been better, because a draw meant it, the top in the group was in our hands. Uh, sadly, now that's not possible. And, you know, you look at the games that are left, and I, I realistically, I, I don't think top in the group is realistic. I, believe, I don't believe Spain have got the likes of... Um, Georgia and Cyprus is our last two games. I mean, realistically, that nothing's going to happen there. If we're being honest, now it's not. It's not the. It's not the the, the most impossible thing to hope for. And of course, on Tuesday, my birthday, we're taking on France. So I mean, it'll be, probably be a party atmosphere over there. We're hyping up today, all over. Um, oh, Northern France, Lille. It's like a party atmosphere. And for some, I completely forgot about this friendly. And I thought, I was like. What are we still doing over in France? The world, the Rugby World Cup's done and dusted. What are people still doing over there celebrating? But then I, cl I clocked on. Oh, I thought we, we've got another friendly uh, taking on France. So we've done it with two games to spare, of course. Um, so, yeah, this... You know what I would like? I mean, I know you could say, well, no, we don't want to see that. But I would like to see in the remaining two qualifiers, like Lewis Ferguson start a game. Josh Deutsch be included in the team. Try and bleed through some of the youth. Like, yes, this group of players has got us here, but I still think there's players, a part of this squad, that kind of need to be moved on. I'm sorry, it is what it is. I, I look at, like, Kenny McLean, I look at Stuart Armstrong, and I just think there's much better young options out there in here. I'm not taking up. Kenny McLean's goal against Norway played a pretty big role in us qualifying tonight. I'm not delusional, but at the end of the day, I think it's time to eke some of those guys out of the squad. Like Kenny McLean, right? I'm nothing against him personally, right? But it just seems like this guy gets absolutely, like, it doesn't matter how he's playing, he'll be in the Scotland squad. Same with Stuart Armstrong. Here, you cost us a win against England, Stuart. Well, you're going to be in the Scotland squad for the next six years. I mean, that's pretty much how it feels like. Um, it's mental. It's absolutely bizarre. And that is pretty much where we're going to leave it tonight, guys. Uh, great result. Tonight, obviously, like I said, draw would have been better, but again, do you really want to be sitting nil-nil for like 90-odd minutes, bricking it in case Norway score? And I, and, I, and I say bricking it loosely. We all wanted this confirmation tonight. Didn't really want to wait to the final two games because imagine if we fucked it up away in Georgia and then it, it was relying on a home game against Norway. You could, have see, you could have seen a bottle job coming. You really, really could have, guys. But anyway... Scotland's through. Cannot wait to next summer. It's going to be fantastic. Hopefully, it'll be better than last Euros. It will be. It, w it will be absolute. I, I can't see it being much worse, regardless of a pot one or pot two or whatever. Um, it'll be good. Cannot wait for it, guys. But anyway, till next time, peace.